Good morning, everybody. Oh, you know, the temperature right now is about perfect for doing tree work. And it's been a while since we've cut. Uh, we got a little job. I worked for this lady, oh man, oh, a few years back. Super nice gal. Her and her boy. Her boy's a mechanic. And they got a shop there. Well, uh, it's, it's really good to see the cedars are doing good down in her area because it was a development in my neighborhood that happened many years ago. And the cedars started drying out and struggling and it was it was tough to watch. And we ended up topping some to, so the lower growth would, would, would take over. And it did, it was, a, it was a good thing, but they're looking deadly in there. And you'll see when we get down there, I'll show you the removal. I'm by myself today. It's just, it's a cleanup job too, actually. So I'm just gonna, I don't like doing that, dropping debris and then having to come out of the tree and clean it up. But it's not a massive tree, but it's not small neither. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I'm not just gonna cut limbs off, abandon, with abandon. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna actually cut them, manhandle them and flick them out in an order that I can come down and flop them into the pickup. It, it'll pay dividends, trust me, when the time comes for cleanup. So it's basically like prep work from the tree. So it's been a bit, so I'm looking forward to it. And it's a, gl a glorious day for it, friends. I feel right down there. Isn't that right, Chester, old boy? Yeah. He gets up in the morning about to break a day. He jumps into his pickup, he heads out on his way. Well, he's got one old crummy, Myrtle is her name. She's a good old one tongue, people and a straight six was her fame. Rattling up that old log in a row, in search of a buckskin log. A few pulls on that McCullough, she'd be laying on her dogs. He's a wood man. As he backs up to the tent Well, the woodman wears a smirk And flicks that whistle on his chest He walks away in confidence Cause he knows what's the best He knows what's the best He knows his what's the best Yeah, yeah, all right That's good. So here's our call for it. It's not I'd massive, but it's not small neither. Sure good to see you again. Yeah, so, so here it is here, friends. And then, like I say, we're just going to load up the old Merc, old school. You know what I mean? Where we, where we began, throwing branches and trucks. I love it. Everything's looking really good, but look at friends. You, you can see here, OK? See, it, it's difficult on the GoPro, I know. but, but And it's, it's probably, like, we can't live with the, uh, oh, it might be fine, because it might not. And what cedar does when they grow in a grove like that, sooner or later, if they're too close together, they'll splay out in the top, which that one's doing. And it's got no foliage on the back of the stem. And what they can do is load up in snow and bust in half. I, uproot, I don't see happening here, but with powder, uh, powder worm in here, it, it's just, they want peace of mind. The shop is right there. So it's, it's a removal. You can really see it from here. It, it's actually got quite a lean. And with that apple tree under there, I'm probably gonna have to rig the top. And we're gonna start on it. So I'll get my picks on. All right, friends, just about to go up for a climb here. 
Um, friends, I think it's something, especially when you get going busy. I think, I know I did, I, I was bad for it in the beginning. Uh, I'm still bad on certain safety issues, but listen, if you're climbing old school like me, check this stuff. Check your rigging. They say about it in every freaking tree book you've ever listened, read it in any mentor. Check your gear. It could be, it could be the end of you. It, it is. Check these silly little things that hold your picks in it. Just go over your gear. Check your ropes for any, you know, maybe the last job somebody nicked it with a power saw. Didn't even realize it. And, uh, and you're paying the price. So just check your rigging. Check it all out. Uh, the, the the days of spending six and eight hours in a tree are, are probably on the end for me now. I'm just happy I can throw the rigging on and still do a, a little job for somebody, to be honest with you. I, I truly am. I'm, I'm happy about it. So, check your rigging. So, anyway, I'm going to go turn the camera on. We're going to fly up here. I'll grab my rope and we'll get rolling. Old Faithful Orange. This old rope, friends, I'll tell you, it has, it don't owe me a cent. I've had this freaking thing for years. And you know what? I use it to rig. I use it to everything. I rappel on it if I need be. I just hang her off the hip and away she comes with me. That's it. Plain and simple. Old Faithful. And it's been shock loaded. Enjoy. All right. All right. Now I brought a glove for, for rigging. On the echo. We got some uh, nails. I feel like a little kid once I get in these trees. I do. Just make my way around. Remember, friends, you are not in a hurry. You're just not. Take the dead one here. Right? a bigger lean than I thought. Alive. I'm gonna leave this friends. It's alive. I'm not gonna cut it. I want to do a nice job. I want the finished product to look good. See all that? See how low that fell down when I cut that limb off it? See that? See, this will look great. Left. A lot of guys get frustrated and they just start cutting stuff out of their face. It's not smart. It's not your tree. around it. Now I'm past that nice swim. Get this here.
butts are going to be facing one way. Okay. There, put your saw down. Look it. Boom. I can pick my nose, make a phone call, peel it off, get it to where you want it. Shebango. Deadwood here. You've got to get this deadwood, or it's gonna look. You're gonna come out of the tree, and you're gonna go. Darn it! Look what I forgot. Right? Yeah. underneath. Let the tree hold on to it. See? Don't, don't worry about cutting it right off, guys, gals, women, and children. Just do a peel cut and then just work it off the tree. See? Now, we got it. We flick that butt down in there. Boom. Okay? This little bit, cut it off or it's going to bother you. Imagine if this was like, see they're laying out really nice now. Because I'm on the underside of the tree. Let's get this one coming my way. You don't want that falling on top of those limbs. You want it to come to you. See? See what's happening? See that limb? Watch. Here we go. Okay. Beautiful. All right. We are leaning out. Gorgeous. Right on the pickup, as a matter of fact. I'm still not into the swing of hanging stuff off my low. You know. You know what I mean, friends. That, uh, this, you know what? <laughs> this thing. The power saw hanging. I'm very happy with what's going on.
See, now we're starting to really have to fight to get back around the other side of the tree. And that's, that's where a tie-in comes in handy, but that's not the program here. I don't want to be picking up that tree if I don't need to behind me. So there's a hundred ways to skin the cat. But Billy Ray's in no hurry. He can even flick that out there. He don't really much care. It's a small leg. Okay? I'm talking about thinking ahead of the plan and not cutting with some crazy abandon. Have a, have a system. Have a freaking system. I can honestly now probably if I wanted to just cut from the back side of the tree now. Because the more limbs I get, yeah, see the more limbs I, I get out in front of me now are going to be a nuisance from this other tree. I can literally just let these go now. They're all going to end up out there. You know what I mean? On this little talk. Yep, I am. Right out there. ain't gonna hurt nothing. You gotta check on your per perfectionism. You know what I mean? You wanna check on your perfectionism. You don't wanna be doing silly stuff when you don't need to be. Try to do a good job. Yes, I understand that, but there's a time and a place for the majority of the tree was laid out nice. Now we can pretty start much getting our fly here now. Look, it's, we're in six inch wood, friends. So we'll see if we can't rig something. This thing is moving around. You guys see that, huh? <laughs> Let's get this a little smaller, yeah. spar I'm just gonna go over top because that's really all you need when it comes time to rigging something this small and I'll just show you a little quick redirect that you don't need to hang on to I've got the undercut. Oh, it's blowing. So there's our undercut, and here's our little limb. And here's another little thing. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my rope. It's it's starting to blow. Oh, he starts blowing, that doesn't it, eh? So it's all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up over this limb. That's it. I, I, that's all I'm doing. Think about all the little scenarios, friends, okay? So, I'm just gonna do a running bowline now. 
No, I'll do a, I'll do a clove hitch. Why not? We're here. Okay, here we are. So this is the most basic, basic of rigging right here. Clove hitch. The top is so small. I'm just going to leave a little half hitch there. Here it is. This is it. Now you get situated. Okay. And what's important now is this part. See this? You could top this tree and that could literally go over top and it would just fall. So you want to have a secondary thought process, but I've done it so many times that I'm just going to hold this like this. I'm going to put my cut in and I'm going to hold this and I'm going to let this go and just, just hold it and it's going to go. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Let's do it. I could even go like this. Pull my slack end out. There. See that? I just do this. That's why nubs are important. So what I'm going to do now is hold this slack like this. Watch. See? I'm literally just going to hold this. I'm not going to do anything. I just want this here. As soon as my top goes, I let it go, friends. And then I just let it go. Look where it ended up. Right at the bottom of the tree. And it just, it just ran away. And the tree's wobbling and swaying. But no shock load, none whatsoever. You see? But you've seen it bend, right? So they saw this thing yesterday in full foliage in a big wind going right off. And they were kind of nervous. So they called me and I don't blame them. I actually don't blame them, friends. So that was an hour, or no, it's 51 minutes. Mind you, I mustered around there for about five. So it's about a 40 minute climb, 40, 45 or so. And uh, lots of talking and playing around with limbs. So it's, you know, that's what it is. Here we go. I'll just chunk out.
It's leaning there hard. I don't want that though. I don't want that at all. I'd rather stand over there, to be honest. But I can't get in there because of that. I'm so grateful I own that saw. It is it is such a such a fun little saw to run. What do you think of that? Perfect. Done like dinner. Oh, that stump there. Yeah, if you would mind. Let's get this one. just do its thing or better if it keeps running for a bit and cools itself down don't just finish your cut and whack your saw off turn it off it's not good for them hot 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 to just down old, old fallers taught me that years ago you think about that for a sec let it cool back down let the metals get back normal let the party settle down little piece here like this boom there's the running bowline you see there bowline like this boom and it grabs a hold of it and sucks it up tight. And we are rocking and rolling. It'll lift this thing right out of here. The four by, I'll pull it right out in one poof, right to the fire pit. 